ladies, I wanted to sit down and share a very special video with you. This is my first time that I have ever collabed with anyone here on YouTube. The beautiful lady I'm collabing with, her name is Jenny Brogan. Jenny is a true makeup artist in Charleston, South Carolina. Jenny and I decided that for our collab video, we were going to do a get ready with me using the products that we love the most. Not only is she a very talented makeup artist, Jenny is a beautiful lady. She really is a beautiful lady. She has got flawless skin, beautiful facial bone structure, long, beautiful hair. She is absolutely gorgeous on the inside and outside as well. Jenny is super sweet and she is super honest. In Jenny's video, she does a lot of get readies with me. In the same video, she'll do an outfit of the day and also do some car vlogging. She puts a whole lot of time and a whole lot of effort into each and every one of her videos. I'm also going to be linking Jenny's video down below. If you are not already uh, subscribed to her channel, I hope that you will go over, check her videos out. I mean, she is just a beautiful, sweet, precious, honest lady. Now the only flaw that I have with Jenny is that she doesn't live closer to me because if she did, I mean, I would be over there raiding her closet like on a daily basis. I love, love the outfits that she wears, her sense of style. I mean, she's just, she's just a fabulous lady. I do want to say a very special thank you to Jenny for doing this collab video with me. Thank you. Uh, foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use my absolute favorite and it is by Gerda Spillman and this is called the Biofond. Now this is a cream compact foundation. This is beautiful on an aging skin. It does not enhance any type of line or any type of texture or it does not enhance any pores at all. It just has a beautiful finish. The other thing that I really uh, love and appreciate is it comes in two different sizes. So you can get a small size or a larger size compact. I'm picking up a uh, damp beauty sponge here. And the great thing about the Gerda Spellman is, is that you can use this as a very light uh, finish, very light uh, coverage, or it can be built up into a extreme heavy coverage, but without looking really cakey and thick or feeling cakey and thick on your skin. So I really love that. It does have a little bit of that dewy effect to it, it because it, it is a cream. So you're not going to get like a matte finish with this foundation, but mature skin, you will love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to pick up two powders. They're both by Too Faced. And this one is the Too Faced um, Born This Way. And this one right here is the Peach Perfect. So all I do a lot of times is just take like a little canister here and I will just go ahead and throw um, a couple a couple different powders in the top of this and just kind of blend them together. For bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the It Cosmetics and this is the Ombre Radiance. It goes into a light and it works its way down into a darker shade. This does have a little bit of that illumination, a little bit of that radiance to it. It's beautiful on the skin. Here's a uh, number 92 fan brush here from Sephora. I love and just go ahead and apply it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Now my favorite blush is the Jane Iredale and this is in the shade called Cotton Candy. You can see that I have given this blush a whole lot of love. It just gives just a little bit of that shimmer effect to your cheeks. Really, really pretty. And look, I just hit pan. Yay! I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my eyes for the eyeshadow. I use a combination of a couple different primers. I use a little bit of the Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Eye Primer. And now, on its own, for me, this one right here is just a little too emollient for me. Um, I don't know. It just it doesn't work really well on its own for me. So I go ahead and I like to mix in with just a little bit of the MAC Paint Pot. And this is the shade Painterly or Soft Ochre. Soft Ochre is the shade this is. Little brush, I go ahead and just dip in there just a little bit. And all I do is just work there in the middle and get a little bit of that Tarte uh, primer there and then just go ahead and work it around. Now the Paint Pot can sometimes for me just look a little too dry on my eyelids here. So that's why I really like mixing the, um, the, the Tarte one in with it. It just gives a really, really pretty, like that perfect little balance. I've been using this Osmosis Press Powder here and the shade is called Fair. This powder works really, really well at setting your primer down without looking too cakey or, 
without accentuating any type of um, texture or line. Eyebrows are just, I don't know, I struggle with them. Mine, mine are completely different. They don't know each other. They don't like each other. I mean, they, they really don't. But one thing that I found that works really well, and this is by Kat Von D. This one is called um, Brow Struck, and I've got the shade in light brown, and this is like a dimensional powder. If you look real close, you can see that it's got teeny tiny little um, sparklies in there. And I go ahead and just place it there on the front of my eyebrow and just start dragging it out. For eyeshadow, I wanted to go ahead and just pick a palette that can give you like a whole bunch of different looks, um, you know, like the pinks and the browns, a little bit of purples, just really kind of works really well. If you just want like a couple shades or one shade or, you know, a little bit of shimmer, you know, and you have also your matte, your transition shades as well. I've chosen the Norvino by Anastasia. I mean, this is a great little palette. It's got a nice little mirror there. You've got several of the matte shades that it can be used in your transition and can also deepen up like the outer, I'm sorry, on this side, like the outer crease as well. Beautiful shimmer shades. I mean, you can get all sorts of looks in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this shade right here. It's called Incense. Beautiful, like a, like a dark camel brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start up here in my crease. And I'm using a Wayne Goss number 18 to do this. I'm gonna do just a fun look. I'm gonna pick up uh, this real pretty little ballerina light pink shade here. It's called Wild Child on my flat brush. And I am gonna use just a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus. And I'm gonna go ahead and start in just applying it here on the inside corner of my eyelid and working it out like to the middle part. I'm picking up just a little bit of this lavender shade and it is called Celestial on the same brush that I wiped off and cleaned off really well. MAC, MAC Fix Plus again. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and apply this here on the outside corner of my eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this uh, dark shade right here. It is called Passion. It's basically like a deep brick shade. It's really pretty and I'm just getting just the tiniest little bit on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put start here on the outside in that crease and kind of work it up in that crease just a little bit. For the brow bone, I have really, really been loving this. This is the Laura Mercier and this is called Highlight 01. It is a matte radiance. I know this is a huge, huge um, palette here, but I've really been liking this up there on that brow bone. It just gives a pretty, I don't know, it's not too shimmery, but it's not too matte. It's just really perfect for me. So I've just been really kind of liking a little bit of that up there on my brow bone. Now tight lining. I have used so many different formulas, Marc Jacobs, NARS, so many of them. I always come back to this one from Wet n Wild. It is just, it's just a really, really good formula. And it is called the Mega Last uh, Retractable Eyeliner. The shade that I have got is black. It just works really well for that upper water line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and I'm using the uh, It Cosmetics. This is Bye Bye Under Eye. I love, love this concealer. It is just so wonderful. And I just take just a tiny little amount and uh, blend them here on my ring fingers, my two ring fingers, and just kind of warm that formula up really well. And then I just kind of work it with my fingers and just blend it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I love this one. It is just gives a beautiful finish, almost like that pretty airbrush effect. It doesn't allow that concealer to crease. I mean, it just stays really, really pretty all day long. Okay, so for my um, highlighter here, or I've even used this as like an eyeshadow topper. This is beautiful. It's by Fenty Beauty. And this one is called the Kill of What. The shade is Water Brat. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really pretty on the skin. And I know it's, it's gonna show up here as pink, but whenever you put it on your skin and you start blending it out, it goes into just a really, really soft, I mean a very soft pink. It is just beautiful on the skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up just a tiny little bit here on this Milani brush that I picked up the other day. And I'm just going to dust this right up here on my cheekbones. Now this does have quite a bit of the uh, shimmers, little sparkles in them, but it's just beautiful on the skin. So pretty. 
I've absolutely been loving this Too Faced Do You powder. It is just so, so pretty on the skin. I go ahead and use a big uh, fluffy brush here and I just tap it into the cap of that. And I go ahead and put it in the top and just work that brush really well into that powder. Tap off a little bit and all I do is just kind of pounce it around here on my skin just to get a little bit on. And then I start going ahead and buffing it in. Move back up to the eyes. Bottom lashes are always the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. It's my favorite, favorite mascara for bottom lashes. Favorite mascara is by Shantakai, and this is the Faux de Sils. I love this mascara. Just gives you every single time beautiful lashes. It's also got that uh, growth serum in there as well to kind of boost your lashes. It is so wonderful. My favorite lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury and the shade in this one's called Pillow Talk. It's just, it is perfection. I just love this one. My favorite formula for a lipstick is by Doll Tan. These, their formulas are just so wonderful. They are creamy. They're so hydrating. They have great pigment to them. Um, the shade that I've got in this one is called Dare to Bear. It's just a beautiful, like a, a, like a nudie pink shade right here. Really, really pretty. My most favorite lip gloss is definitely going to be the City Beauty City Lips. This shade right here is in Tinsel Town. Just a fabulous formula. The perfect consistency of like that tackiness that will stay. I mean, just your lips just, it just stays so long on your lips. Does definitely give your lips um, a lot of hydration. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It does have that little plumping ability. It is just a fabulous formula. I love this one. All right, ladies, so this is the final look that I came up with. I just love how everything turned out. Really kind of, you know, fun, just a little spring, just a little summer vibe, you know, especially with that Norvino palette. I mean, they're, the shades that are in there can just be so much fun. Makeup should be fun. It doesn't always have to be, you know, just serious. And, you know, sometimes it's fun just kind of step out of that box and try new things. So anyway, I just love how everything turned out. Now, talking about a little bit of fun, I love this little product here. It is from uh, Too Faced, and they did a collab with Dry Bar, and this is called Glitter Spritzer. This is basically something every once in a while, if I'm going to be out in the evening or go to a little, like, luncheon or a little dinner or whatever, just kind of take a little bit and just kind of spritz it. I mean, all you need is just a very little bit on my hair, and it puts just these beautiful little... Um, micro glitters in your hair and your outside or the lights hit it just looks really really pretty all right so perfumes I've got to mention this one because this is new out from Juicy Couture I love Juicy Couture this is called Bolicious it is beautiful in fact I just went and got another bottle of it drawback to it is that the scent doesn't stay with you for very long so you do need to reapply this but it is beautiful. It's like a sexy, beachy, fruity. It's just a fabulous, fabulous scent. I love this. If you're somewhere and you see this, take a little sniff of it. It is gorgeous on. I love it. Okay, so that is all that I have got for this video. Um, such a fun video. Jenny, thank you so very much again for collabing with me. I mean, just this has been so much fun. So anyway, all right, ladies, please, I'm going to list all of the information down below of the makeup that I use. Also, I'm going to link Jenny's channel and her video below. Please go over and stop by and say hi to Jenny. You're absolutely going to love her. Ladies, thank you so very much for stopping by. And as always, I wish you all a safe and a very wonderful day. Bye.